this miraculous hot swing started and then unfortunately there was a tragedy where we had the, the Chennai floods. And um, it was an amazing moment for me in football because I remember the second day we were stranded in the hotel, we couldn't move out of the hotel. A lot of our, our foreign players were just flummoxed as to what was going on. Because there were reports that there, you know, there's an alligator farm nearby that is overflowed into the streets. And some of the Brazilians were just playing, praying to Jesus, saying, you know, what's going on? We don't get eaten by alligators. It was, it, was, it was bizarre. And I remember Marco called everybody in, and he just did something which I will never forget. Uh, we had an option to um, stay back and wait till the water, you know, kind of resided and we could get out of there. And um, the other option was to try and make it out of Chennai because we had to fly to Pune to play our next match. And if we forfeited that match, there was absolutely, even mathematically, no chance that we'd qualify for the semi final. And Marco was first shot everybody out, which Marco was pretty good at doing. And um, said, if we have to walk to Pune, we're going to walk, but we're not giving up this match. And that just infused such power into all of them, and, and they literally, literally waded out of, of Chennai. We drove, I don't know, for almost a day to an airport that was functioning. The ISL very kindly chartered an entire plane for Mumbai City FC and Chennai FC. We managed to get out to Mumbai and reach Mumbai in the middle of the night, and they drove down to Pune and played the match that evening. And uh, you know, we qualified for the finals. And then, uh, as everybody knows, the finals went very eventful. And, um, and it was it was emotional, I think. Uh, part of it was relief that we did it. Um, and just to be able to, you know, the, the power of sport and, and football, come on, it's, it's, it's the greatest game on it. So, you know, to be able to go there and just in the second season, starting at the bottom of the table, coming all the way up and winning the way we did, and, you know, the 87th, uh, I think it was yeah, the 87th minute, we went down 2 1. And, I remember Peter, my, my partner, and myself, we just looked at each other and said, okay, we made the final, I mean, it's good enough, you know, no problem. And, and Stephen Mendoza was mentioned as opposed to goals. And um, it, was, it was miraculous. It's, it's unbelievable, you know, it's, just, it's a mixture of everything. And I did what most Indian people do when they're emotional. I cried, so. <laughs> Yeah, we're really doing that. So yeah, that's, it's, it's unbelievable. I, I really wish, um, I tell a lot of my friends who are also stakeholders of the teams in um, the ISL, uh, that you know, I, I really do hope, and I genuinely do uh, hope that they do manage to win um, the trophy once, just once. Yeah, it's, it's, it just reaffirms that you know, your belief, your expenditure, your investment, it's all win. So it's, it's fantastic. And also what is worth it is most of the management, most of the players also have put up the goals they play for Chennai. Because a lot of the fans must have a good game. And you're a yes. very hands-on person where the team is concerned, where the players are concerned. You're one of the most involved owners in the team. And that's why you also have kind of an idea about what goes on in the dressing room with the players. So can you give us a brief idea of what goes on during the season in the dressing room? What's the atmosphere there? It's ugly. Um, Especially Ben Ahmed, he's uh, who's one of who's my captain. Yeah, no, it's great fun. I really enjoy it. You know, that's possibly the main reason why I travel with the team and I like to stay with the team. Is I really enjoy that camaraderie, and I feel um, you know, being the management or the coaching staff, all the support staff, all the players. I think they really do go that extra bit if they start feeling that you know everybody involved in the team is in it for the for the long run. Uh, I think players, very much like actors, can very quickly pick up body language and understand that are these people here just to come and wave hands at the, at the public at the stadium, or does it really mean anything to them? More than that, are they down in the trenches with us? And if they see that, they give me that extra. And I'd like to believe that was a small contributing factor to say, you know, in season two, um, what Chennai managed to do. I think they saw that the management, the support staff, and above all, Marco, not going to give up. Uh, and I think the players really feel of that. And um, like I said, it's very similar to filmmaking. You know, um, actors take away all the glory, but you see the kind of teamwork that happens. And actors feel of the energy of the director, we call the captain of the ship. Now, if the director is doing what you should be doing and 10 times more, you want to give your life for that person. And it's very similar in sport. 
Uh, I'm sure in, in, in business as well, in any sort of management field, if you see your boss leaving from the front, you're going to do whatever it takes. So, um, yeah, that's why I really enjoy it. And um, it's a lot of fun. You, know, you get to meet some of these people. Um, for me, being a football fan, you, know, you get to, to, to literally interact and rub shoulders and, and um, basically sometimes, you know, some of your, your idols, I was just telling them uh, backstage that I remember the first time in season one when Chennai played uh, Goa, which was our first match, and saw Robert Perez run out to an Indian pitch and boost flesh. You know, this is one of your childhood heroes. And, there's Robert Perez, and then you know, next match, oh my god, Freddie Lugo just ran off, and there's Nico and that, and Zico's managing, and Roberto Carlos is managing, and to add to it, Marco is, is, is barking on his Italian to me after the match, and it's great, you know, for a football fan, this is great. The principal fan of team owner, what's some of the challenges you faced as a team owner? How many team owners do we have in the room? Okay. Um, so you very quickly realize after you sign your first check the difference between being a fan and a team owner. So yeah, that's that's the, I think the biggest challenge in India right now. Um, I can only speak in the evening.